Okay, so let's try this again. Unfortunately, we have to waste a zonite charge every time. Damn, 20 seconds is crazy. Considering we spent, what, 29 seconds the first time? Oh, you've got to be kidding me, dude. I should have died sooner for that last one. Can't believe it. A fifth of a second. The trick to descend quickly is to dive as much as possible. I swear, he better give me something for this. And it better not be like, can you do it in 15 seconds now? The suit definitely helps though, I gotta I gotta say. Eighteen seconds. Fifteen would be insane. I don't even know if fifteen's even possible. Maybe. 1826, this is an astonishing new record. My records indicate that you are faster and braver than any previous challenger. I award this to you in honor of your extraordinary record. You have earned it. Oh my god. I was hoping for like another piece of gear. Please tell me your name. I will register you as the record holder. Understood. Your name is Link, and I've registered you as the record holder. No, no, we're not doing it again. I mean, it's nice that we get a large one, but we did waste a couple. Okay, so... Let's see if we can make it there. There's another shrine there. I guess we might as well do it, right? It's not like we're going to make it all the way up there anyways. At least that one will be easy to find. Seems to be all on, on that flat surface up there. Ooh. Damn it, I forgot. I forgot to hit the glider. I got too excited with my uh, dive suit. Just wanted to try it out. Paid the price. At least the price isn't too uh, too dire. Let's see. Oh, that's not going to make it. I was hoping that would give us, like, uh, more distance. And it, it probably does. If you're just comparing, uh, you know, diving without it, as opposed to dying with it, or diving with it. But you definitely get more distance by uh, gliding like this. Ooh, I wonder what that's... Oh, that must be a, uh... Yep, stable. Makuruki Shrine. I wonder if that's the stable. Where we can get our prizes for those, uh... Frog items. I guess we should go check that stable out. Before we go and do that memory. Man, at this rate, we're never going to make it to the water temple. At least not today. Oh, another... 
interesting. Another archery training. I wonder what this one's going to be about. What are the chances? Two archery trainings back to back? Yes, yes. Heed my instructions. Tell me. Steady your aim and fire at the enemy's head. That's it? It's even easier than the other one. Other attacks are ineffective. Yep, yep. Let me get my stuff before it disappears. I wonder what the point of going up there is. Are we gonna have monsters at the top of those pillars? Guess not. I wonder if only headshots kill these guys. Simple enough. We definitely should focus on some of these shrines. Considering how far we are in the game. We have not done that many. barely at 50. Actually, I think we're still under 50, even with this one. I'll take that. And we could definitely use the extra stamina. But let's go to that stable at the bottom. See what's going on there. Wonder if we'll see Pen there. I mean, we keep seeing Pen at all these stables. I'm not even sure if we're like advancing that quest. Hopefully, we are. Because we have so many damn side quests and side adventures. Doing all of them is going to be quite the challenge. And I wouldn't be surprised if we find uh, some more side adventures. It's like there's side adventures at every uh... oh stable. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we are getting quite a bit of these. We might be able to go back and get some extra slots. But I think we need we need like twelve, I think, just for one weapon. I guess if we do we can either do that or uh something else like bows or shields. Oh. Oh. The massive cold snap is over, and things have final, finally settled down around here. But there's no shortage of strange happenings these days. Please take care during your travels. Our employee, Banji, really knows this area, so don't be shy about asking her for help. Uh, good day, uh, no, good evening. Yeah, that's right. What? Well, welcome to our stable. Ah, sorry, I'm nervous. Our first new customer in a while. You're a traveler, aren't you, mister? The stable is so far to the west that we don't get many new customers. So, did you come to talk to me because you wanted to ask me about the stable? Why not? As I suspected... You just had this look about you that said, I hope someone tells me all about this amazing place. Well, allow me to give you an explanation of the Bantha Bridge Stable. Okay, so if you want to rest here, go to the counter inside the stable. If you're curious about what's around us, talk to my mom outside the stable. And if you want to know about the stable's facilities, just ask my big brother, Kenyo. He's working just nearby. Oh, and also, I'd be happy... If you talk to my little brother, Shell, 
to. I love getting to work with my family. I love how her definition of tell me about the stable is her telling me to go talk to everybody else about the stable. Hi, good evening. Well, uh, my mom and dad are always busy, so my hip, my siblings and I try to help out. If you want to learn about stuff at the stable, try asking my brother and sister outside. Mm -hmm. Something bothering you, young man? Oh, could it be? Is this bright young fellow interested in the poster, too? This very interesting poster. Quartz? Is that the... Are those like the trees I saw in Eventide? If it was, I don't remember seeing a beast like that. Reports say this is a picture of a beast that's been rumored to be lurking somewhere in Hyrule. Mm. It's been the talk of all the stables. They say that Princess Zelda herself was seen traveling with this beast. Look at those tusks. What a fearsome creature. I wonder where this beast is right now. Quite a mystery, don't you think? <sighs> if I were younger, I'd hike all the way to the stables. Find out if there's any truth to these rumors. Oh. Okay, so what's the news? Great fairies flee into flower bud. Oh, we heard this already. Mm. Oh. Yeah, we know that. Ah. Thunderous pirates pushed out to sea. Uh, yeah, we. Mm. Nothing mm. new. Mm. Oh. We've heard both of those stories already. The wood. Oh, that must be Pen. Looks like we actually did find them. Oh, I wonder if those are birds that we can kill. Hmm, hardly a trace of a recipe remains. Just the remnants of half eaten Italian pine cones. Oh, hey, partner. You're looking good. Were you able to? Were you also pulled to this place by an inescapable tug of a story? I'm chasing some new chirps and warbles from my beloved little birds. I gr oh, that would have sucked. The birds that uh, they were right behind them. I was thinking about shooting them with an arrow. wonder how that would have went. A group of goats is a herd or a trip or a tribe. Anyway, the stable has been raising a small herd of white goats. Or was it, or it was until all those white goats ended up vanished all of a sudden. Hmm. That's not where it stops, though. Some have said that Princess Zelda may be involved. Anyway, why don't you talk with Chork, the guy who was taking care of the white goats. I'll look oh. for more clues. Partner, time for you to get to work. There's a big scoop here. I can feel it. What? Goats gone missing. I like Chork. Chork is such a funny name. He is kind of chorky too. Hey buddy, have you seen some white goats around here? I'd give those goats all the love and care in the world. But the other day they ran off together. Uh -huh. They didn't even finish all their food before they left. Alien and pine cones weren't eaten. I followed Princess Zelda's recipe perfectly. But could it have been the feed that drove them off? What a recipe. The Princess Zelda shared a recipe when she visited the stable a while back. It's really amazing how much she knows about animals. I never would have expected her to, her to be developing healthy feed recipes. In this case, it's a recipe for a special kind of feed for white goats. The main ingredient is Hylian pine cones. Sounds like something uh, goats wouldn't eat. It's actually pretty unusual. It requires you to mix the pine cones in whole. You don't grind them down or anything. I didn't want my wonderful white goats to eat the recipe the princess gave me, so I put put in a glass bottle. But a storm came through one day and it blew the bottle off somewhere. I wasn't able to find it after that. So I've been making the recipe from memory ever since. 
what would make my white goats spit up the Hylian pine cones and run off like that? Did they you really hate Princess Zelda's recipe that much? Interesting. I wonder if this was the real Zelda. Oh, that dog had some... Look at that dog and his green eyes. Kind of freaky. Hi. Good on you for working this late. Welcome to the Tabanath Bridge Stable. Oh. Traveling, are we? Just know that once you cross the Tabanath Great Bridge, the west side of the canyon gets rugged. Prepare for that. You know, just before you came by, someone across the Tabanatha Bridge saying, I want to bring music and food to Rito Village. Mm -hmm. Tried to stop him, told him the blizzard was bad around the village and that the path was dangerous. But he had already prepared a wagon on the other side of the bridge. He hopped on and went, went and away he went. <sighs> Between the narrow bridge to the village and a huge hole in the ground, the western road. Tough route for a wagon. Should have tried harder to hold him back. I just hope he and his horn make it to Rito Village safely. That must be the band. Uh, the one we need uh, to find. Uh, for what's it called? Um... The Great Fairy. Oh, I wasn't planning on doing these, but I guess we might as well. Oh, you're gonna be a, a Yiga clan, aren't you? You look preoccupied, so I won't keep you long. It's just they saw sunken treasure in a pond on the hill near Ludfo's Bog. Seems a shame to leave perfectly good treasure chest down there. I wonder if there's a way to lift them out. Oh. I thought for sure it's gonna be a, uh, you know, Yiga clan member. Might as well mark it, I suppose. Hopefully, this side quest or side adventure doesn't take us too long. But, you know, now that we started it. Actually, I wonder if it's even on the map. I wonder where the dot on this map is taking us. And I see the dot on the mini map. Yeah, maybe we'll run into Zelda. You never know. The pine cones are nice. They do give us quite a bit of an updraft. Oh, there are the goats. Oops. Oh shit. Sorry, goats. Those are my white goats. This is where they ran off to. Looks like he was following me. <sighs> there, there. I'm just so glad to see you. Are you all okay? And you're the one who found him. Thank you, I won't forget this. This bottle. This is what I use to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. Let me see, I need to check the recipe. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Wait. Oh, no. Grind the pine, grind the pine cones into a powder. I'm not supposed to use a whole Hylian pine cone. Should have known something was off. It did look really, did look really hard to eat. My poor sweet goats. They must have run off because of that awful food I was making them eat. So sorry I hurt, hurt you all when I was thought I was helping. 
was all my fault. It was my fault all along. I would have ran away too. Can't believe I doubted the recipe that Princess Zelda shared with me. Mm. Should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take the best possible care of the goats. Ah. But it's not just about what kind of food you feed them, right? It's important to show them that you care with all your heart. Mm. I swear from ah. now on, I will take care of all of you with the same kindness and compassion that Princess Zelda displays. Ah. That's the best way to show my gratitude for her sharing the recipe with me. <laughs> oh, and I really, really can't thank you enough for finding my white goats and the recipe. We're going back to the stable. You take care. No prize? Oh, there we go. Hey, partner. Ow. I saw everything, partner. Perfect investigation with a happy ending. I'd expect nothing less from you. Hmm. Don't you think it's a coincidence that the missing white goats and the lost recipe were in the same place? I have another theory. Maybe the white goats set out to find the bottle themselves because they couldn't stand to eat the wrong recipe anymore. I don't think that's the case, but it does make you wonder, doesn't uh -huh. it? Oh, that's right. It was your first job, wasn't it, partner? You did quite well to get such results on your first time out. I'm feeling a little proud myself. Here's the start to the old nest egg. As you take on more stories, your base pay will obviously increase. And there are bonuses, of course. Keep up the good work. Alright, I'm going to hurry back to HQ and bring the word on this story's conclusion to our readers. See you later, partner. I look forward to chasing another big scoop with you. Soar long. Oh, I love that catchphrase. Definitely my favorite. At least so far. Into the mushroom we go. I like these mushrooms or these mushroom looking things. It's a good way to get some extra height. Okay, can we ascend here? Not even close. Oh, we just need to make it to that. On that platform there. I think that's where the memory was. Let's hope that memory is not too hard to find. Surprisingly enough, the ones that are like on vertical cliffs, actually not that hard to find. Because there's very few places that it can be. At least as far as I've noticed. So it's always going to be on a, uh, you know, flat surface. Not on the, not on the vertical part. So that leaves uh, very few options. I'm not expecting that, but I'll take it. Wouldn't it have been crazy if there was like a piece of gear? Chances are people wouldn't have found that. And it might have been one of the first ones to find it. But I guess putting a piece of gear there is kind of unfair. It'd be hard for people to find. Although there was that grate at the top. So chances are you probably would have seen it. You just kind of crossed by there. Or passed by there. Dumb. I thought we had enough stamina to get two jumps. 
You know, that's like the main reason to get more stamina. It's because I'm lazy. And I don't want to do these jumps. Yeah, we almost messed that up again. But like I was saying, this might actually be harder to find. Because it's... The geoglyph is pretty much on a flat surface. So it could be anywhere. Although maybe it's where that rock is. Ooh. Does that mean Impa's here? Let's go see if Impa's here. Actually, I haven't talked to her in a while. Oh, that's probably where it is. I to take... Oh, yep. Impa is here. Long time no see. Oh, it's right there. Well, if it isn't Link. So you are investigating the geoglyphs too, then. How diligent of you. Link, hello? Have you perhaps discovered geoglyphs in other regions, Link? Link, I have been thinking about your visions of Zelda. Could it be that the princess somehow... Hmm, I wonder. Okay. I thought maybe we'd get more dialogue, considering we've uh, found a ton of geoglyphs without her. Let's see what this is about. This seems like it's going to be an early one. What a useful ability. Are you well? You seem a bit distracted. I apologize. I keep getting lost in my thoughts, thinking about how I can return home. With your power over time, if I were able to learn that kind of control, I might be one step closer to my era. I see. Oh, the we... secret is to think of it like drawing out the object's memory. You ask the object where it was, how it arrived where it is now, and then you coax it back to that original moment in time. The object's memory? I'm sure it will become almost like second nature, and you will be able to find your way home. But Zelda, there is more on your mind than just that. Huh? You, of course, do want to get back to your time. But you also desperately want to help us out in this era. <gasps> Am I close to the truth? How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I do not believe it is possible to keep anything secret from Sonya. <laughs> Oh, your concern is very sweet, Zelda. When did he get there? But listen, you can focus your attention on returning home. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. Both of these powers will help you protect your own era. <gasps> Queen Sonia! And, of course, you must make it home safe to put Link's mind at ease. Link? Uh, that is not a name I have heard. He is a royal knight. He had been originally appointed for my protection. But later, he became a hero by saving both me and Hyrule from a great evil. Oh, a hero is he? He is so very dedicated, and he refuses to back down from any challenge. He is very strong. <laughs> and his heart is good and true. Ah, I can see that you have absolute faith in him. Hearing you speak so highly of Link, I find myself wanting to meet him as well. Indeed. I would also like to meet him. 
He must be quite the brave, courageous knight. What a picture Zelda paints of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've already met uh, Raru. Oh, but like I was saying in the beginning, she's uh, apparently in this memory. At, at least at this point in the memory. Does not know how to use her time power. But there was a memory that we saw that must be after this where she stops the knife from uh, killing Sonia. Oh, I think it goes right after. That fake Zelda throws the knife at Sonia. And then I think our, our Zelda you now stops it or reverses time on it. At least that's what I remember. Didn't realize it was like right after. Oh, we actually found all the... This one I think is going to be special. I don't think we'll find it in a geoglyph. We actually found up to 10. So now we just, I mean, we found others past it, but that's like one of the first ones we found too. So let's go see what Impa's got to say about that. If she even says anything about it. Oh. Yep, yep, same. What's the point of you even being here? Not entirely sure what it all means, but I did find an interesting entry in an old manuscript. Dragon's tears are... Oh, that's the name. Well, what the name would imply. Your shed as a dragon ascends to the heavens. This is the first time I've ever heard of dragons crying. Yeah. Okay, nothing new. Mm. Not entirely sure what it all means, but I did find an interesting... Oh, yeah, yeah okay. All right, I guess you're pointless, technically. Wait, why is there? Oh, I keep seeing that, that drop on the memory. And for some reason, I keep thinking it's a Korok seed. And I'm just like, I don't remember picking up a Korok seed here. Wonder how many memories we have left. I mean, we got one here, one here, here. I mean, I would imagine there's probably one down here, no? Got one there, one there, one here. Probably got to be a one around here, right? We got this one, and this one, and then there's probably got to be another one up here. Just taking a guess based on the spacing, but... And then I guess, like, one in the center, right? I guess we'll have to look for that. And we should probably also at some point think about getting the Master Sword. It's been a while. 